Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Welcome back. Today we get to talk about the GAPS Diet Introduction Phase Stage 6. This is the last stage of the GAPS Introduction Diet, so it's a huge accomplishment. And I'm going to go over which foods to add in this stage and how to do that. So if you've made it this far, congratulations, you have done so well. This is an exciting stage in that we get to add in more sweet things. Basically everything that we're adding in is a sweeter food, which you've largely gone without for the most part in the GEPS introduction diet, so it's pretty exciting. And this is the last stage of the introduction diet before you go on to the full GAPS diet too, so that will be the next thing that we'll be talking about is how to transition into the full GAPS diet. So the very first food that you get to add in in this stage is peeled raw apple. So you had cooked apples so far, which makes them a little bit more easy to digest than raw ones. Raw fruit is really nice to have too, and it has a lot of good benefits as well. So make sure that the apples are nice and ripe. You don't want to be eating underripe ones. That way the starches will be more broken down naturally in the fruit and a bit easier to digest. As always, start with a very small amount the first day and see how your body does with it, and then if it seems to be going okay, gradually increase. And then after you're doing well with a good amount of raw apple, you can go ahead and try different fruits that are allowed on the GAPS diet. Make sure that they're very ripe with all the different foods. For example, with bananas, you want them to have lots of spots on the skin. That just means that the sugars are more broken down so that your body can have an easier time digesting them and they're not as starchy that way. A very small amount of honey is allowed in the beginning stages of the GAPS introduction diet. You can have that in the teas. And now at this stage, you get to gradually increase that amount of honey. So you can have it in different dessert items as a topping on pancakes and things like that. The last thing that you get to do is to add some sweet baked goods. So there are some GAPS legal cakes and muffins and different dessert items like that that are sweetened with honey or dried fruit. You get to add and slowly increase those. Okay, he couldn't quite make it all the way through the video. But as you're adding the different sweeter foods, the dessert items, baked goods and things like that, just watch and make sure that your body is doing okay with that and that it's tolerating everything well. The entire time that you're on the GAPS diet, the full GAPS diet included, you'll wanna make sure to not go overboard with sweet foods and desserts and things like that. You wanna have, for the most part, everything that you're eating be savory. That will help keep that balance of friendly bacteria under control. So it's good to enjoy some fruit and some different GAPS legal baked items once in a while, but just make sure to not go overboard and that way you'll keep everything in a good healthy balance. All right, so the next video in this little series will be transitioning from the introduction diet onto the full GAPS diet, so I'm gonna go through that. Just remember that the time spent on these different stages is very individual. Sometimes different stages will go faster or slower for different people. It's just very individual and you have to just really listen to your body and go with that. The biggest clues are how your digestion is doing if you have abdominal pain and diarrhea or constipation. You want to make sure that you don't move on through each stage until those things are starting to go away. As you go through the stages too, you may find that for you personally, some foods have to wait longer than others. So you may complete all of one stage and then one food just isn't doing well. If that happens, then just save that food for much later and go on to the next stage. And then much later, you can try introducing it again and see how it goes then. Make sure to continue on with that meat stock in soups and in cups of meat stock in between meals as well. That's gonna provide those building blocks for continuing to rebuild that lining of your intestines. If you're new, then I wanted to mention again that I have a free printable GAPS diet kitchen checklist. It goes over everything that you wanna make sure to have in your kitchen when you do the GAPS diet. Just makes it really easy to make sure that you're set and ready to go. I'll put a link below where you can grab that in the description box. Go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know how things are going for you, how you're feeling, and if you're helping somebody else through the GAPS diet, how that's going. 
I have lots more GAPS diet videos upcoming, more recipes and different things, more information on different topics. If you have any questions, let me know in a comment. Also, let me know if you have ideas for more video topics that you'd like me to cover as well. All right, if you like this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. That helps more people find it. Consider sharing it with anybody else that you think might find it interesting or helpful. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health, wisdom, and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.